Charging won't take you too long either, with a maximum charging speed of 115 kilowatts. Getting from 20 to 80 percent should take around 40 minutes from a suitably powerful public charging point. The e 9 also comes with vehicle-to-load functionality, meaning you can power external devices with it. Sockets under the bonnet and in the truck bed allow you to plug in equipment and power it from the vehicle's battery, such as your work tools or the kettle for an on-site coffee. The e Terran is larger than the rival Ford Ranger and offers a 236-litre compartment under its bonnet for stowing small items. However, the pickup's total payload capacity is only 620 kilograms, which is a lot less than its rivals such as the Ranger or the Toyota Hilux, and even the T90 EV, all of which can carry more than a ton. The e Terran's smaller capacity means it won't qualify for the same tax advantages as other double cab pickup trucks. However, its towing capacity matches the Ford Ranger at 3,500 kilograms and greatly improves on the T90 EV's 1,500 kilograms. Drivers working on uneven ground can drop the e Terran's cargo bay at the push of a button, making it easier to load and unload items, while the same air-based system should lead to a comfy ride. While the T90 EV's hard plastic interior didn't feel particularly plush, Maxxis has promised luxurious soft leather furnishings for the e Terran 9, with power adjustment for front row seats. The T90 EV comes with a 10.25 inches infotainment touchscreen display, alongside a smaller display with basic driving information, and would expect the same setup to be used in the e Terran 9. No prices have been confirmed yet, but it's likely that the e Terran 9 will be positioned above the T90 EV, which costs £49,950 before VAT. We expect prices will start at around £55,000, making this one of the most expensive pickups on the market, but also one of the only electric choices.